Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my gadget kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make pressure cooker chicken taco soup and I'll be using my Ninja Foodie. This is a pressure cooker meal that can also be cooked in a slow cooker and on your stovetop. This recipe is full of flavor and it starts off with dicing one green bell pepper and one red bell pepper. Next, I diced up one whole onion and off camera, I also diced up six cloves of garlic. Now I am removing the meat and the skin from a rotisserie chicken that I grabbed at Sam's Club, easy peasy. And now I am just chopping up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. So I have preheated my Ninja on the uh, using the saute function and I added in some olive oil. And now I'm going to saute the veggies. And then once the veggies have a couple minutes to cook, then I'm adding in one can of rinsed black beans and one can of chili beans, followed by one can of Rotel and one can of fire roasted tomatoes. Now I added in one 12 ounce frozen uh, bag of corn, one tablespoon of cumin, two tablespoons of chili powder, and then I'm using this uh, infused salt. Um, it's sea salt infused with lemon and lime. So I got about one teaspoon of salt in there. And then I'm adding in some fresh cilantro, followed by four cups of chicken broth. So now I'm just tasting the soup to check the seasonings and it just needs a little bit more. So I'm adding some Goya adobo seasoning along with some Sazon seasoning as well. I gave it another taste and the flavor was perfect. Now it's time to add in the chicken and stir everything together. And once everything was well incorporated, I added two bay leaves. Now using the pressure lid, I am sealing my foodie and I'm making sure the valve is set to seal. And everything in here is already cooked, but we're gonna cook under pressure, under high pressure for 20 minutes and that's really going to build the flavors in this dish. So while the soup was cooking, I grabbed some corn tortillas and I cut them into strips and I added them to a bowl and then I, um, sprayed them with some olive oil spray and then I seasoned them with that um, flavor infused sea salt the lemon and lime uh, sea salt and what I'm going to do is I'm going to air fry these I'm going to be using my Breville smart oven air um, only because uh, the air fryer basket for the oven is so big I can spread out my tortilla strips and um, just have a little bit more surface area so they cook a little faster. So I'm spreading the tortilla strips on, in the basket and I'm gonna cook these inside of my Breville at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. And here's what they look like when they're done cooking. After doing a quick release of pressure, it was time to open up the lid and this is what the soup looks like. Oh my gosh, it smelled amazing. So good. Now at this point you could be done, but I love cheese. So I added some Mexican style cheese on top. Um, I then used the air crisp lid on the Ninja to melt the cheese. It didn't brown as much as I wanted because the soup the broth from the soup kind of got on top of the cheese, but it was still really, really good. The cheese was just so melty and creamy, delicious. So I served the soup in some bowls with some diced avocado, a little sour cream, um, a little bit of fresh cilantro, and then the tortilla strips. And this was amazing. So much flavor. You have to give this a try. So if you like this video recipe, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And go ahead and shoot me a couple comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. And if you're here and you're not yet subscribed, stop just sitting here waiting. Go ahead and click that button. As always, thanks so much for watching. And remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye.